this will just be like a montage of some of the better game clips I've gotten over the past couple of months. This is just one more kind of chopper. There's nothing too hard to do in this specific situation. Yeah, I just hit his engine with the Sabo round. And then, of course, he can't maintain the speed or the altitude, so he crashes. And here, I'm just goofing off. I'm in, like, a, a reserve anti-air gun for, I think, Italy. And, like, the, I'm seeing if the German will notice that there's this car that's trying to <laughs> break through the wall. And he ends up shooting the wall. The enemy will win. And then he makes up his mind as to whether to like kill me or not. Because I still would have tried to kill him. And then here I just goof him off. There's like three BT7s that crush me in the morning. The where that thing is. It's pretty funny because then there's a Crusader. Just because it's like a. It's like a roller derby. And they're like gigantic, even though they're not two big tanks. But they're gigantic compared to that thing. The backup. <laughs> and the model just gets crushed in them. And then here, yeah, I'm pretty much just sitting outside their spawn, waiting for something to happen. Yeah, it's spawn camping, but then again, who, who doesn't do it? And if you say you don't do it, I'd probably say you're full of shit, but... It's a pretty scummy thing to do, but at least I'm not, like, straight up camping in one of the overpowered spots. But after I kill him in a very professional manner, I then hear a chopper, and I was like, where, where the hell is he? I honestly should just let the chopper cap it and then kill him. It's a pretty scummy thing to do, because I, I know if I was that pilot, I would want to have some sort of mercy shown on me, at least cap the point, which is very uncommon to do. And here, this is me playing my battleship. It's insanely easy. If you know how to, it's insanely easy to ammo rack ships like Helena's or Makuma's because they have their ammo. They have three guns in the front. That's where we want to aim. In the front. If you aim in the front, you're guaranteed to just blow up their ammo. If you're using uh, sap rounds, semi-armor piercing, explosive rounds, they're very good. Honestly, it's like the main thing. If you're in a battleship, sap is like the only thing you'll want to use. Armor piercing will just go right through and not do anything. Boom, ammo rack. Oh yeah, this is, I'm playing in realistic battles. So I'm doing most of the aiming by myself. Uh, this is just, of course, a replay, a server replay of the game. I'm speeding it up so it doesn't take too long. And then boom, Amorak. I mean, buying buying premiums like the Helena, yeah, they're good against other cruisers, I suppose. But even if you're in another cruiser, it's pretty easy to Amorak them. They have that one design fly. You don't want all your guns in one area. There he goes, Amorak again. It's insanely easy. If you know how to aim and calculate where they're going to be, where their gun is going to be, you don't want to calculate where the ship is. Where the ship's going to be is relatively easy to do, even without the, even without your rangefinder for correcting you. The rangefinder is always going to aim for the center mass, and that's not where you want to aim. You want to aim on their aft portion of the ship, where their guns are. And after I realized that. I destroyed all the ammo in the front of the deck. I then want to try to destroy and ammo rack the guns to the rear, which is a tad bit hard depending on how much they carry. Because they're premium buyers, 
they usually carry max ammo, so that makes it even easier to ammo rack them. I've had times where I've just shot a singular round and just pokes them and then boom, whole ship dead. It's, it's very funny when that happens and <laughs> very cost effective because you're not using those expensive rounds. <laughs> I, I play personally, I play ground, naval, air. Uh, my favorites are naval and ground. I don't quite love air too much. But I do play air. Eventually, that Hayuga that's sitting out in the back or whatever it is does sink me. And here we have I'm brawling with two Abrams. And the team does come and clutch at the end. Because, like, I could not take out that other Abrams. I'm not really sure why the rounds aren't killing like, all the crew members every time I hit them. But they don't. They just go right through, apparently. So I crit each of them. And his gunner and everything on the so he pushes me out hoping that the other one will kill me. And again, I shoot the other one and kill like one person. He's still fully operational. He gets me and I kill him. And then teammate comes in clutch. That's a good game. That's a good brawl. That's what Russian tanks are made for brawling. And here, yes, that is a K50. Yes. I know the reputation behind them. I personally don't like going into heli battles and fighting K-50s because they, they often J out. Like, they think it benefits somebody to J out before they're about to get killed after they use all their Vickers missiles. I don't like that. I don't do that personally. Uh, but here's cool. I'm like doing all these maneuvers, killing all these people. I see an Abrams just, just riding there. Get him in his ammo. Oh yeah, and I end up landing, and then a Merkava finishes me off. Attention to the designated grid zone. Oh yeah, to the designated it, I love grid that. Square. This clip is really one of my prides. Attention to the designated Being able to do grid that. Square. Oh man, that that Merk it would have been a lot cooler if the Merkava rammed me and killed me that way, but nah. This is a cool clip just because like the chopper hits the ground and it's somehow still alive. I'm just like soaking rounds into him. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you survive all that. Then here you have you have somebody trying to take up for their buddy. I'm trying to take out that battleship so he doesn't take me out or the people I'm playing with. And a Prince Yugen just sails right in front of him, takes takes my whole salvo. Look at that, look at that sucker. Boom! Ammo ammo rack. Another premium player with like a full thing of ammo. <laughs> And oh boy, is this is this a funny one? Like, I'm here trying to. Attention to the designated grid zone. Keep it up, and victory will be ours. And like the aircraft hits the hits the buildings and just flies back up like it's Jello or something. Crazy. And here, this one, like, oh my goodness, does the Magok act like a tank? I have like three or four individual people just soaking me with everything. Heat FS, armor piercing, explosive rounds, ATGMs. It's crazy how much shit I just took in this little, little thing. 
I, yeah, I, I failed to get them. By then, pretty much everything I have is, is disabled. Multiple ATGM, multiple hits. This thing has a four second auto loader as well. You can fire heat FS and uh, armor piercing cap ballistic, whatever it is. Another ATGM and I'm just still, I'm still kicking it. <laughs> Here, I have a little ace combat situation going on. Uh, I'm trying, I'm trying to get that. I think it's a BF-109. Uh, just, uh, I crit him, but, you know, I'm being critted as well, because eventually a guy comes to help him. And I end up running out of ammunition. So my, my course of action is pretty much to use the ammo I do have, which is rockets. Attention to the map! And boom, he's hit. I end up actually landing in my airfield and flying and then coming back and I think I shoot down that guy and then I get shot down. Attention to the I don't know why he never zone. finished me off. He very, he went very well could have, easily. I'm not the best pilot. And then there's me and my buddy. He's in a swing fire trying to shoot down this aircraft and I beat him to it somehow. I just clip his wing. Boom. He's down. And, and my buddy Gecko there, he's like, I'll try to kill him. And he just gets so pissed off. Because <laughs> I took that kill from him. It was, oh boy. And then here, this challenger kills me and my buddy, a different guy, like, twice. He killed my buddy twice and killed me once through those crates throughout the map, and I ended up one-shotting him through the crates as well as payback, which I'm happy for. It's good to get a taste of medicine. I really hate that the game doesn't make all the crates shootable, because honestly, you should be able to. It's Sable Rounds. Um, in this clip, I honestly wasn't even trying to shoot down that aircraft with my main gun. It just happened. It's one of those things that just happens. If you're lucky you record. Then you act like you're a professional. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. We got a, a heat round right to the right to the engine to that needed them. Attention to the designated grid square. I'm sleeping don't remember this one. Um, what did I do? Attention I don't know. to the designated grid zone. We'll find out. Oh yeah, I, I shoot him through the smoke. I just oh, estimate where he's to gonna be. And get an ammo around. Attention to the And then here, you have to hate whenever this happens to you. You have this tank, he reverses, and there's this little tiny gap for him to shoot underneath the tank from him because he's a slighter. Um, decline, that's the word. And then I just like, I take advantage, I'm like, does this work? Boom! Yes, it does. Crew not here. Oh boy, this thing, this is like the best anti air gun for Russia, uh, before 7-0, uh, the best anti-air gun, with its 152mm proxy rounds that it gets, and I'm happy that we get some howitzer anti-air gun, that is like, the only good anti-air gun we have, boom, get them with the proxy rounds, by estimating just perfectly where he will be, I'm very happy about that. The Chris and Tima in this map, I like being spawn camped to shit, okay? There are some Taros in the bushes, Roy Cats in the bushes, and then I have Bradley's trying to cross map the other thing. I end up killing multiple armored IFEs or tank destroyers in this map. More than just those two, by the way. But they're just, they were just spawn camping, which I don't really like. And since they were hiding behind bushes, I had to improvise. Well, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for man for more. And as always, tanks do kill. Oh yeah.